I think he's doing it on purpose, what do you reckon? I managed to drag my good mate Kenny Jewell down here from Newcastle uh, to Newtown. We had some brunch and came across a few record stores and we just found ourselves on this crazy vinyl hunt and um, came across some seriously awesome guilty pleasures. Um, so we thought we'd share them with you. <laughs> Thanks, Digger. Things that we like that we're a little bit oh, yeah, okay. embarrassed about. Tunes. <laughs> I got into an accident but couldn't come to school. What uh, movie does that remind you of? Two guys, not very smart. Any time now. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Kenny found. Did you tell the owner about the whole dad and son? No? So he thinks that Kenny's my dad. Oi, come here. He thought that you were my dad. This is the second time that's happened. Really? Down in the West Texas town of El Paso, <laughs> I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Hey. I think he's just gone and found all the coolest vinyl all the there is in Sydney. Dudes. Where's like the Venga boys and stuff? <laughs> this fall into the category of guilty pleasure? Cause... Yes. Really? On a Saturday night when I'm home alone, I like to throw this on, dance around a bit. <laughs> you know that he's got girls. Three girls. It is, there's stuff. just so much cool shit cool. here. We probably need to get it. Is that hole? Like Courtney Love hole? Courtney Love hole. <laughs> Courtney Love hole. <laughs> this was a guilty pleasure until Almost Famous came out. So that I'm actually oh I'm actually a little embarrassed about. I'm serious. <laughs> my girls were watching it. I kept on refraining and just fighting the urge because I hate musicals. But Guilty pleasure. Yeah. Seen it? I'd, I'd definitely be embarrassed about that. I have, I hated it. Really? Well, no, I liked it. I did like it. I don't know, some things you should just keep to yourself. Probably. <laughs> Do you remember Siren? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you remember the same scenes I remember? Yeah. Pull it out again. <laughs> All your stuff. There's nothing guilty about it because it's all cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I think we might, we might find an op shop. <laughs> that way? Supplies! I mean, like, Papa Smurf plays the blues. Look at him! He's a hipster. He's a blues man. Blues. Get blue. a blue, he's blue. Thanks, Clay. <laughs> babe. Wendy Matthews. Babe. Babe. Yeah? Oh, gotta yeah. Gotta wash my hands. I so gotta wash my hands. This shit is just filthy. Did you get that, that black and white that photo album thing that she released? Yeah. This is one of the ones that I really hoped I'd find. Slice of Heaven. What a tune. Reminds me of an old childhood film for Rough Flats. First LP that I actually bought and wasn't my dad's cool stuff. Yeah. Was called it's called Choose 1985. Oh. I remember a scene in Foot Rot Flats and I'm not sure you'd get away with it today where he's feeling bad about dropping his jelly down of boobs, so he starts like pulling it out with the spoon. I watched that part a few times. I think that was probably the first moment that I realized well, I must have been what? I think five, six years old that I, I liked boobs. Having a moment. These, what is that? And how? Turn it around. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't be together. I think this is in the blues category. Oh, I do. Oh, that's terrible. That's, that's a pleasure. Just guilty. No. What is that? Norman Gunston. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the stinky puffs. This takes me back to high school. Out of all the wilds, wild. Volume 6, the hero song being Amok. Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, maybe it was just the southwest suburbs. What is it with me being on tippy toes again? What the fuck? I've got to get rid of this fucking Rob <laughs> Harris thing. <laughs> Each time, I don't, it keeps popping up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the story. I can't. I yeah. Can't. I will. Yeah, <laughs> Tell us the story. My acting career was about this big. I think this was the end of it. I could be wrong, but... Uh, yeah, I might have started an episode of Baywatch Nights. When I got the gig, um, I was like, they told me, you're going to be on Baywatch. And um, I'm like, Pamela Anderson, like, 
I don't know how I could do that. Like, I spent a lot of time in my bedroom with Pamela Anderson. <laughs> so did you, uh, you worked with the Hoff? I worked with the Hoff. Something you'll never find online, so good luck to you. I'll post a link in comments. <laughs> yeah, you, you would, you dickhead. And that's it. That's what we found. So gold, man. Go egg. Um, yeah. Sweet. Should we get, get this one on the Smurf one? <sighs> What's that? This one on the Smurf one? Yeah, Thank yeah, you. absolutely. Cool.